Welcome back, Indy. Those are the fans out in Indianola. Hi, everyone. Scott Rice for joining you. You know, Urbandale lipped into week five at two and two. But those two losses were by combined eight points. Against Indianola, a three and one squad, it was time to unleash the fury. They actually unleashed the fury with Vernon Cheatham. They can't beat him, Cheatham. Touchdown, Urbandale. They were feeling good. On defense, getting it done. Kyle Stoltz with a big pick. Jayhawks firing on all cylinders. Up big in this one on the road at Indianola. Indians knocking on the door. Batted away by Heinrich. What a game. Urbandale, big time win. 40 to 14, improving to 3 and 2 on the season. The U is proud. Dowling is the new number one team in the state after knocking off Valley last week. They made the trip to Council Bluffs to face Lewis Central, and it was an easy trip. Jack of Zachary, Zachary rather, another big game for Dallin. He was the star last week against Valley. Touchdown here on the way to a 38-14 Dowling victory on the road over the Titans. How about the Valley Tigers taking on Hoover? Hoover up to a 3 and one start. Could they hang? Well, Wilfred Kwaku pressured in. But Dali Naba says, get down, young man. Ten-yard loss. Valley having some trouble early putting Hoover away. It was 7-0 for a long time in this one. Valley gets the ball back, and as the crowd watched, Rocky Lombardi showing off that D1 arm. It's Austin Hinkle. Look at this bullet. 34-yard touchdown pass. It was a beauty. 21-0 Valley. They start to pull away. This time, Lombardi doesn't have to throw the bomb. He just goes 11 yards to Jacob Morris, makes a 27 zip. Hoover would come back. Nice play by Kowaku, the quarterback for Hoover. Nice play right here, but in the end, Valley simply too strong. Overwhelming Hoover. Last check, 55-18 in the fourth. Oh, this football makes me a little hungry. How about some pizza? Gonna share that. East trying to serve up another win, taking on one and three Southeast Polk, but the Rams would have none of it. This was all Rams. East down 21-0. Finally got some decent field position. Great crowd by East out there tonight. But Garrett Northway. Had the big stop right there. The Northway again picks off Jerron Turner. Northway is going all the way. That made a 28 zip. Southeast Polk rolls 56 to 7 over East to pick up their second win of the year. Well, looking ahead at the college schedule, Iowa State and you and I both have the Saturday off. Hawkeyes, meanwhile, look to move to 4 and 0. It's a 2:30 kick against North Texas and. Former Hawkeye Dan McCarney. Drake at home as well at 1 o'clock. Grandview with a home game at noon. And in the Iowa Conference, Buena Vista and Simpson with home games as well. That's it for Football Friday Night. We're back after this.